All right, so here we are. We're gonna take these eight 300 amp hour uh, 6GPL is the model number, Lifeline batteries. Uh, anybody that follows what we do knows that we only use Concord uh, and or Lifeline batteries. They also make a solar version, but we'd rather use the type that uh, that they use in the uh, F-22s and the F-16s. These are aircraft grade batteries. They are working batteries. They need to be worked every day, but you can turn them upside down and flip them any side around and um, they will keep producing. Anyway, what we're doing here is we're going to turn these eight 6-volt batteries into a 124-volt system. Now the way we're going to do that is we're going to be wiring the, uh, each pair of batteries uh, first in series and then we'll be wiring them all in parallel. And so if you've See, follow to any of our other videos before, we've shown you this before, wiring it in series is, is wiring from your negative to your positive, and then those go out from, uh, in parallel, will be uh, positive to positive, uh, negative to negative. And the good, easy way to remember that is uh, parallel, this, the sign for parallel is an equal sign, and so you're keeping the voltage the same by keeping everything equal uh, and that would be uh, going from positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, so for this little run from here to here, in fact we are looking for metal tabs that we could be using for that uh, or metal bars but haven't been able to find something that would work. It'd have to be insulated at some point which could be done with insulating paint uh, the type that they use for tool handles but like I said I haven't found any right now maybe uh, some of you do find it you can email us uh, in the meantime what we're connecting this w together with is the um, welding cable so in this case we're going to be using this one out wire uh, just to be safe to go between those two points we want to make sure that we have plenty of thickness in our wire so we're not losing any power. Okay, so the way we're connecting these is we're gonna use a battery cable, similar to this. In fact, this is a bit long for what we need. Uh, it's easier to get something that is that you could make yourself. So one way of doing that is you can go to the store and get them made, and they'll put these fancy ends. You can see you got different connectors, different colors, or you can just make them yourself. And the way to do that, you go to your auto parts store and there you go. These are about $2 each. They save you a lot of time. In order to get these type of connectors, which we use on the ready to go, uh, because they're OSHA approved, they're UL rated, this is UL rated wire, we want to make sure that anything that goes on a job site is not kicked off because it's not UL rated or OSHA approved. Um, but when we're doing a, a system, when you're doing something for yourself, these work just fine and uh, they're just uh, just a couple bucks each and you could do them yourself you could strip the wire and, and put them on yourself with these type of connectors here you need to have a special crimper the crimper is about two hundred and seventy dollars just for that tool so it's uh, meant to keep it away from you all right a quick lesson in how to turn your six volt batteries into a 12 volt battery or a 24 volt battery here you have a six volt battery See the, the reading's a little high. Oh, let me get these on here. The right way. 6.46. Now you notice I have not connected these together yet. So each one of these batteries is still a 6 volt battery. Okay, so now I've connected the two batteries together. Positive to negative. So that is in series, right? And when I check the voltage on these now, sorry about the camera work here, you're going to get, come on, there you go, 12.9. Uh, right? Okay, so that's now one 12 volt battery. Now, as you can see, I've taken two banks of 6 volt batteries, two batteries, excuse me, 
of two batteries, two pairs of six volts, how's that? Made one battery bank. I, I still have the same configuration of positive to negative, positive to negative, making them two uh, 12 volt batteries, uh, battery banks, and then I've got positive to negative between those two banks. You see that? And so now I have a 24 volt system. Let me get this plugged in here. Oops, gotta get my setting right. There you go, 25.8. Never is quite 24 volts. It's always a little bit higher. Then of course when the batteries start draining, but that's at the rate of 24 volts. So there you go, you have one bank at 24 volts. And then if you combine them with our other two, or, or I should say other four, then you can, if you put those in parallel, you would have a very large 24 volt system or you can have a, 20, a 48 volt system.